Hey, what's up, everybody? We're back at it again. Uh, this time today we're in studio, and uh, I got a special guest. My my main guy over here at, at Simply Vegas that I that I work with the most, uh, Anton. So let's give it up for Anton, man. What's, what's going, going on, Anton? How much? How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, so a lot of you don't know that uh, me and Anton are on the on the same team here in Simply Vegas, and uh, we've been working together for a while. A uh, little little craziness uh my middle name is actually anton so we're like the anton and anton team almost in, in a way right um but I, I wanted to bring you in here today and uh, ask you what is it what is it that you're seeing in the market out here with the with the with the new home builders um that's what you primarily deal with is new home builders right correct like you do a I, lot of resale new home builders new i home builders. try to specifically right now stick to new home builders cool cool and and what uh like what home builders do you typically deal with and I mean I know there's a lot out there but yes so a lot of Pulte KB homes mm. recently a lot of Harmony nice homes, and Blue Heron nice that that Harmony is a, a small yeah they're a, small a smaller builder. builder do you like dealing do you like dealing with them or they're really currently right now they have really great incentives really so it's really easy to actually deal with them right now and they're very lean Towards the incentives. What, what kind of incentives does like a Harmony Homes have versus like a Pulte or like a KB? What is the like? What are the incentives that they? Yes. Yeah, so Harmony Homes, specifically the Cadence community right now, mm -hmm. they are having six percent towards closing costs. That is wow, five percent from the builder and one percent from the lender on top of two point five percent as that's, well. That's that's really nice. Yes. Yeah, so and uh, they do have a couple quick moving homes as well. Yeah. Yeah, I remember I was actually talking with uh, Anita earlier this week, and she told me one of the quick move-ins that, that we went to shoot is already under contract. Yeah, the units so the, the, the sold jig jiggly Jigglypuff, right? Or yes. Hufflepuff or something? The Jigglypuff. So for yeah. your viewers that are interested in Pokemon community, that whole Cadence community with Harmony, there there's Charmander, there's Squirrel, there's Jigglypuff mm -hmm. Avenue. So it's a really fun place. When I first saw Jigglypuff, I don't know why I was thinking Hufflepuff. And I was like, is it like, Harry Potter. yeah, I was like, I was asking Anton, I was like, this is like Harry Potter or something. He's like, no, it's, it's Pokemon. I guess you got to know, you got to know to know. <laughs> yep. Uh, wow. Those are, those are pretty good incentives. What other, um, what are your other builders that you like for the most incentives right now? Like, tell me like one other builder maybe that's like got pretty good yeah, so incentives. Pulte, for Pulte, example. Pulte, yes. really. And What's, uh, what are Pulte incentives like valley wide? So depending on a community, but a Poldona location in Southwest, they're offering 5% towards closing costs oh, and 20% nice. towards off total amount of upgrades. Oh, nice. Nice. So like the whole options package. Yes. What What is that compared to like other Pulte communities? So other Pulte communities are usually 3% nice. and they're offering about 10 to 20,000 off the upgrades. Mm, God, that's that's really good. Those upgrades are a lot. Um, for you, all you guys that don't know, Anton actually did buy a new build as well. From what? What? Uh, yeah. So I bought it from Pulte. Those are from Pulte. Yes. And uh, I wish I had twenty percent. What did? Yeah. What did you spend on your your upgrade options? Around uh, seventy five to eighty thousand dollars. Yes. So that's huge. That's that's like uh, if they're doing twenty percent off, that's like fifteen fifteen thousand. I mean seventy five. 75, 10%. So yeah, like $15,000 in yep. a, a discount. You could have actually theoretically used that, spent the same, but just got that much more options and then had 20% off of that as well. So Correct. That would have, have, um, have been pretty good. Now, let me ask you this. The the buying market obviously slows down. The, the whole market slows down um, in the winter time, big time. And um, of, of course, like that's why we work with new builders we specialize in new builders versus a, a resale because in in the resale and let's be honest sometimes it's like pulling teeth right yes. to get to get any incentives and it's they have one home in a, in a resale it's their only home and they're not inclined to offer as much uh, versus when we're working with builders they have a lot of inventory so they can they can sell some of it as a at a loss in the winter time just to have good turnover and then make up for it in the in the spring um but what is it like? What is, what would you recommend buying in the winter? Why 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 would you tell somebody what what season do you think is best to buy in? Oh, it's uh, winter specifically. Yes. Right now, December. Right now. I okay. mean, I have not seen a builder give you 
six percent or it's closing. Not to and, mention a rate buy down. Yes. And and a price reduction Correct. on top of that. And then I want to go back to you were asking me what communities I see that are okay, giving yeah, you yeah, crazy let's, incentives. Let's about that. Two weeks ago I was at Caramel Cliffs yeah. and that community is the by pool team. Oh, that's like the like million dollars, right? Yes, yeah. in Summerlin. Okay. And they were offering seventy thousand dollars off if you spent one hundred seventy five thousand in upgrades. I mean, in those million dollar homes, you walk in and you just see upgrades everywhere. You probably could get two hundred thousand of upgrades just like in one living room. Yeah. So getting seventy five thousand dollars back in your pocket, it's it's unheard of. So I would definitely say December end of the year sales, if you shouldn't even think about it. If don't, don't wait. If you're would, in the market, what would happen if if tell me a scenario if somebody does wait until spring or summer? What what happens at that time? So first, incentives are incentives are still going to be there, but mm -hmm. they're not going to be six percent. Maybe one to two percent max. Maybe mm -hmm. interest rates. We don't have a crystal ball. Yeah, Is it going up? Is it going down? Why would you want to be uncertain of what's going to be when you have all this great? incentives in front of you right now no that's that's totally true the more buyers that flood the market then there's more there's much more competition yeah if uh, the, the rates let's say do go, go down prices of the homes go up yeah, so now true. you're competing with other people the builders see that there's traffic mm. they lower the incentives they might even take them away from you yeah that actually that's a good that's a that's a good that's a good point. That actually brings me to another another thing to talk about this this year end because I'm always saying that the winter is the best. Um, could you tell us a little bit about fiscal fiscal year end for the builder? And yes. What, and what that means as a benefit to the buyer. So some quote me if I'm wrong, but some builders like Pulte and KB Homes, I believe their fiscal year ends in end of January or early February. Yeah, it's like the end of the year is later and then some are like yes, already ended. Correct. And for some end of the year, for like example, Harmony, end of the year is December 31st. So their fiscal end, year ends then. They could give you much bigger incentives like mm -hmm. they are right now currently than someone like Pulte or maybe KB Home that they are going to have their incentives. K yeah, I think KB actually, I think KB ended in, in November. Oh, did they? Yeah, so that's, because uh, I think KB is doing like a 6.75% rate and they're not giving as much. Okay, so, so if, so, yeah. yeah, so back to our point, if the incentives end and their fiscal end years finishes, then there's no incentives for the buyer. So basically as they're closing out the year, they're like, hey, we want to make this a good, we want to make the, this a good year end. We're going to offer all kinds of exactly. ins incentives. And the, one more thing I want to mention is Pulte, KB Homes, Beezer Homes. It doesn't matter about what the builder is. Let's say there's 100 homes available mm -hmm. and they release 10 to 20 homes at a time. Every single time that the release happens, home prices go up and up and up and up. Of course. So if you're trying to save something later down the line, you're still going to be paying more because of the releases. The closer they go to finishing building the community, the higher the price of the home is. Of course, it makes sense. It's it's like buying a buying an airplane ticket. If you're buying towards the end, it's filling up. You're paying sky high. If you if you buy in the beginning, you're it's paying low yeah. because they want to start selling some of those seats, and recuperating exactly. some of their money. All right, I got one last uh, one last question for you. Uh, you often talk about blue heron with me as. Hey, he loves blue heron. He just loves blue heron. Uh, blue heron is is dope. It's a it's an amazing community. Uh, could you tell us um, what you're seeing with with blue heron with some of their developments? Where are they located? Uh, huh. What's the price range? That's what everybody wants to know. Uh, yes. So if you could tell us about that, that that'd be great to hear about that. I'll start with Lake Vegas, Lake Las Vegas. So blue heron shoreline community. It's beautiful. It starts at nine hundred seventy nine thousand dollars. And what do you get for for that? It's a is it a, is it a single family home? Is it a standalone? It's a standalone single family home. The thing with those though, lot premiums are 400,000 at the lowest end. <laughs> so 979 price, it's not really 979. Now, yeah. also in the Shoreline community, if you want the third floor, 750,000. Jeez. Yes. So that that just turned into Sorry, one point. Did I say seven fifty? Three fifty. Oh, three three fifty. Yeah. So that still turns almost to another million. It's like one point, like one point two million. Exactly. 1. 2 something. Yeah. The cool part about Shoreline Community of Blue Heron, 
elevator is standard on all the homes, even if you get a two story. Nice. So Blue Heron is custom builder. They build custom homes. You won't see a million dollar home with an elevator. Pretty yeah. much at all from like no, you're, you're, you're looking at like four, four, usually like four, four, five, six million yes. to have an elevator. Yeah, uh, and then also Blue Heron is opening that shoreline commuted 